Hi, my name is Simon from Spy Camera CCTV. Um, today we're going to be taking a look at setting up the motion recording on your DVR-38B or DVR-64X recorder. So uh, if we take a look at the screen here, I've got one of our 16 channel models here, but it'll be the same on both the 4 and the 8 channel versions as well. The menu systems um, will be the same. Um, so to start off with, what we need to do uh, is on the mouse, if we right click twice, so we get this bar along the bottom here, and then we want to go to setup on the far left hand side. Now in here we want to go into configuration, and the first thing we want to do is go into record. And then in record, we want to go across the whole. And then we want to make sure that record mode um, is set to schedule record. Um, now it might already be set to schedule record, but we still want to go in here and double check that it is set to schedule record. And to go back, we right click on the mouse again. So it's the right click button. Then we've set told the record there that we want to go to schedule recording. So next we need to go into scheduling and then we need to tell it what we want our schedule to be. Um, so by default, it's normally all blank like this. So uh, if we look at the color coding at the bottom, uh, white will mean it does no recording whatsoever. So we want to make sure that MD is ticked here. So you can see by default, it's already highlighted uh, or rather ticked. Uh, then what we want to do um, is colour in all of Monday, just colour in Monday, we can copy that across afterwards. Um, and then you can see once we've filled in Monday, we can copy Monday to all days. And then click the copy button here. And that makes motion detection copy across all of the days. So that saves trying to colour them all in because it can be a pain. Um, you can see at the top here it says channel. So what you can do is set up different schedules for each camera. So you could have say camera 1 and 2 motion and then you could set up 3 and 4 on normal record. Um, so you can select the camera and configure each one differently. Um, but what we're going to do and what um, we probably most commonly have calls for is people asking how to set them all on motion. So we'll just leave that one on all. Um, so once it's all coloured in orange for motion detect, we can click the save button down there. This lets you know that that's saved OK. Uh, and then again, to go back, we want to right click on the mouse. Right, so we've got the record which says that we want to use the schedule. We've gone into schedule and told the schedule we want to motion record all the time on all the cameras. The next thing we need to do is uh, configure the motion. And the motion is um, considered an alarm, so the settings for that are in alarm. And then we want to go into motion. Now this one you do have to set up per camera, unlike the schedule where you can just say I want all of them to be motion record. Um, because motion configuring the motion requires a bit of fine tuning, um, which we'll come along to, you have to do this per channel. Um, so we're going to start with uh, channel 1 um, and then what we want to do is make sure that MD and ABLE is ticked. Um, the rest of them are kind of optional. You probably want to turn the buzzer off otherwise the DVR is going to start making a buzzing noise every time it detects motion um, and that will get annoying pretty quickly. Um, these ones most people wouldn't be using. Um, of course record needs to be ticked otherwise it's not going to record and we probably want pre-record to be ticked. What that will do is it will record, record five seconds from before the motion trigger um, and then it will record for the duration of the motion um, and then stop recording. Um, you can have it email you um, but that requires some additional configuration so we're going to untick that. Um, electronic SMS, I've never seen anyone use that one. Uh, you can have alarm output so if you had a, an alarm system wired up to your DVR you can have the DVR trigger your alarm system. Again, most people don't use that. Um, and motion detection isn't really reliable enough to hook up to an alarm system in that way. You probably find your alarm system will go off quite regularly. 
um, whenever cats and things walk across in front of the camera that would trigger your alarm system off. Um, so really we only want the MD enable ticked and then pre-record and record. Then if we go back to the top here we've got sensitivity so you can see when you mouse over it it says at the bottom there set motion sensitivity 1 is the highest and 8 is the lowest. Now that's probably going to be a case of coming back to this setting and playing with it. Um, we'll leave it in the middle um, for now. Now the last one here is MD area and this is the main reason that you'd have to set up each camera individually. Um, what this does is allows you to mask off objects in the view of your camera that you wouldn't want to trigger, trigger recordings. So say um, this was looking out into your garden and you were watching the path coming up to your house and there was a bush down in the bottom left hand corner here. Uh, what we would do um, is just left click on the mouse and you can see it gets rid of that red um, cover over the image. So you would do that until you could see your entire bush there nice and clearly so there was no red over the bush. And then if anything was to move in this square now in the bottom left corner, that wouldn't trigger a motion record. It would still be recorded, so when something walks through the middle of your image and does trigger a recording, this bit of the image is still going to be in there, so it's not like it's blacking out that area of the screen. It's just ignoring it for the motion. Um, but what I'm going to do is put that back there. So once you've masked off anything you need to mask off, and you're all happy with that, we want to right click on the mouse again to go back to the previous screen. Um, then what you would do, so we've done that for camera one, so say you had a camera two on there as well, we'd do the same thing, we'd select camera two, we'd make sure MD enable was ticked, unclick buzzer email alarm out and ESMS. We'll leave the sensitivity again on four, um, it's a good place to start. Um, and then we do our, our MD area. Uh, I don't have a camera on here, so we're just getting black. But again, you would you would get rid of that red by clicking on it. And that will ignore it in the motion. So if we right click, and that will go back out. So um, we've set up camera one and two. It would be the same for all the other cameras, so I won't go any further than that. So once you've gone through all the cameras, um, and you're happy you've set up the MD area, you've played with the sensitivity perhaps, um, and we've got pre-record, record, and MD enable ticked. We right click and that will take us back again. Um, so we've pretty much done it all now. We've set the record mode to schedule. We've set the schedule to be motion record on all the cameras, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And then we've gone into alarm and we've configured the motion for any masking that we need to do to ignore things in shot um, and played with the sensitivity. Um, so now what we do is uh, we'll right click again, and that'll take us back to the main menu. Then we want to go down to save, and then save again. I'll save the parameters, and then we can click exit. So now you can see if I full screen this one, if I double click this, so it fills the whole screen. When there's a motion trigger now, you'll get a little green man to indicate the motion has been detected and then you'll get the red light come on to indicate it started recording. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it. So like I said, uh, the motion sensitivity, you might find that it, it triggers quite a lot um, or not enough. So what we do to adjust those motion triggering, just take a note of what camera it is that you want to play with. Then we want to right click twice, to go back into settings here. And then we will go into configuration, back into alarm, back across to motion, and then we can um, adjust whatever camera you need to adjust. So we just choose the camera at the top there, and then we can put the sensitivity up or down as we need to. Again, right click to go back, right click again, then go into save, then save again. And then we can, you know, monitor the, the motion again, see if it's any more accurate. Um, I'm not going to get much more here than that because I've got that pointing at a 
tree branch blowing around in the wind. So um, that's all there is to it.